Welcome to the second um, video on this bike, Suzuki Trail Hopper 50. Um, we're taking out the seat to get to the rest of the motor and stuff. And uh, I think this whole thing comes off as one, um, like the cover on the gas tank. But look at the seat, it's got like some weird rope hanging down below that's <laughs> connecting the whole thing. I don't know if it just spins off or what the heck is going on. This is just pull, oh, I wonder if there's a pin. There's this thing you need to pull out of Oh yeah. What twist, maybe? Was it, did it twist? Oh yeah. <laughs> what the heck? And the seat just comes out. That is strange. Oh, look at, check out the seat. <laughs> oh, that's cool. And look at the handlebars. I was thinking that these things spin out and then you can pull up the handlebars. Is that what it is? Seems like... Do you think? Right here, try to get these off. I couldn't get it. Funky. I didn't want to break it either, because they look like they're pretty much like on there for good. They moved a little bit. Double D40 that bad boy. Cause that'd be sweet, so then you can just put the seat up high, put these bars up higher, you got like a clown bike. Isn't that weird? It's so unique. Yeah, but is this a Snooky? Yeah, it's, it's awesome. <laughs> and it's like a brand name one, so it's kinda cool. Look at the little pipe coming out there. Yeah, I know. That's gonna be so loud. It's like a horn. Yeah. Like projects the sound. Yeah. It does still have the muffler in it though. The baffle. Is there really bad? Oh, yeah, there's screws up there. Oh yeah. This thing's pretty pretty neat looking. We'll just buff out this plastic paint. Actually, yeah, probably not. This stuff should come off though. I don't know what that stuff is. It looks, it reminds me of a little Honda trail bike. Like the tires on it. This is metal? No, it's not, is it? Yeah. No, it's not, it's plastic. You sure? Yep. 100% sure. We're gonna have to keep, I'm gonna get a little baggy for these. That's the other one, right? So each have a washer. And yeah. Gotta bag you for this. that gas tank. Here's the plastic piece that came off of it. What does it look like on I think it's, I think it's metal. <laughs> it's, no, it's like really hard. It's plastic, boy. That's funky. <laughs> Isn't it? What the heck? I know. I've never worked on a bike like that before. Like, look at the frame. Or they had to make the frame like that to hold the... <laughs> The seat. It's weird. That's for sure. Like, <laughs> take your. Okay, so he said that this leaked right here. What? Charlie, this petcock area. So he said just bypass that thing. But we could probably fix it, maybe. He said when you poured gas down it, it just leaked out of the, this little area right here. And you, you can't get a new one for it, he said. And you can't. <laughs> but what is that little hole doing there? That's why it's leaking. It's missing the screw to hold it in place. It should be like a screw that goes on top of the spring. Right? I don't know. I'm not like trail hopper man. Well, that's broken right there. I don't know. The main thing is just to 
just to see if it has spark first. No. The guy said it did, but <laughs> Craigslist is a little goofy sometimes. I usually, when I was first starting out and my, my risk was very high, I didn't have a ton of money, I used to bring the uh, spark pu plug puller to see if it had spark because I never trusted anyone. But then there's four, there's four toggle switches for the the key. Four? Yeah. Sure. Yeah. Where do you put the key, by the way? It's over there. Why'd you take it out? Because I had to take it out to get the plastic out. Oh. It's right there on the ground next to the seat. Nice Suzuki key. Made in Japan. Give the little fender. <laughs> See if she's got some spark. That's funky. That's a weird looking <laughs> plug. Why is the end so fat? Uh, All right, moment of truth, guys. There's like no way this plug is spark. I want to kick it over. Okay. I'm gonna put the key on the first pet. Oh yeah. Look at that. It's not Ooh, that's great, but it'll work. <laughs> oh yeah. Man, that's so smooth. It's mint. Some might call it minty. <laughs> People get so triggered when you say the word minty. Minty? Uh -huh. minty. Say minty one more time. <laughs> minty. Minty little bike. Like an elf where he runs across the table. Say South Pole Elf one more time. Call me an elf. No, yeah, no, call me an angry elf one more time. Oh yeah, call me an elf one more time. <laughs> He's an angry elf. <laughs> Classic. Oh boy. What are you doing here? Why are you taking out the gas tank? So we can clean it out? It's probably No, it's clean. there's no gas in it. It's probably clapped. There's zero gas in it. He told me that. He drained it all. Oh. Well, actually, shine your phone in. You never really know. It could be like... I've been told that things run perfectly in there. Yeah. Yeah, it's pretty clean. It's yeah, fine. Um, I think you could put that back in then. But we're going to have to figure out how to fix this. I think everything else is good. Oil tank. Let's see here. You need to clean the carb. There's oil in the oil. Tank, so that's good. <laughs> so it must work. Where's the carburetor at? Oh, underneath here. Good. Uh, oh, yeah, we should. We just put some um, gas on the spark plug hole and it popped over for a little bit and it was smoking. You could see it come out of the pipe. It looks like it's really plugged, plugged up in the pipe. <laughs> I can't wait until this thing starts up. Oh, it'll be smoking out the whole garage. But it's really nice that the carb is on the side. The garage closed. I'm gonna pour some uh, gas on the carb. We should actually mix it with some of that, uh, what's it called, the uh, carb cleaner stuff. That'd be nice. Don't you have to clean the carb then? <laughs> yeah. Right. It's gonna be gunked. Then we'll put a big bore on it and call it good. Like it already has one. Oh yeah, oh, look how tiny that is. <laughs> Tiny little car, dang. It's clean in there though. Let's see. Oh yeah. Let's see. Open it up. Oh, she's gonna pop over now. Close that bad boy. Should we choke her? No. Oh, wants to go. <laughs> we need more gas yeah, in there. It needs a car clean. It needs to be clear. You keep on dumping over the gas. Yeah, I know. Just dump it over. Pour some more in there. It's gotta get cleared out. It'd be really nice if we could just pour it down the gas tank. But. Well, the guy wasn't lying. People are gonna get triggered. <laughs> 
putting gas down there. No, they won't. Oh! <laughs> that looks so cool. That looks, yeah. <laughs> That's actually pretty cool. It's just floating there because the air is so condensed right now with the cold. <laughs> <laughs> That's so weird. Yeah, that was really cool. What the heck? <laughs> it's so slow. Yeah, it's like really heavy. Jeez. All right. <laughs> I wonder if the baffle and the and that thing is just clogging it oh, up. I can't wait till it actually starts. <laughs> yeah, it'll be sweet. Oh, look at you up the corn. That's what it is. You can see the corn. Guys, look at that. Look at the corn down there. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> There's a little squirrel. Corn. Little squirrel's dying down there. <laughs> oh my gosh. There's actually corn. Right? Yeah. We've had bikes like that before. Cause he had this thing sitting outside. Oh my gosh, that smoke smells so bad. Whoa, it smells like a. Oh, that's that old bike smell. Oh. That's like what was on that one bike. Oh man, it's like fried corn. Where the heck is it? Fuel line. Should we try pouring some gas on it and seeing what it does? Yeah, this line. Oh boy. Got it running pretty good. Yeah, the peacock is leaking so but as you can see. But uh, we're gonna open the garage door here. Let this run for a bit, clear it out. The choke is on, I remember. Yeah. Smoky girl. <laughs> oh my god. Burn off some of these old fumes. It'll probably start on fire here pretty soon. Then we don't have to worry about it. <laughs> Give it a little gas. Clear that guy out. Nope. I bet you carbs kind of dirty. Oh man, that is really just puffing out that smoke. Hopefully it's getting oil, yeah, it's definitely getting oil to it, I would think. <laughs> <laughs> man. I don't want to start on fire either, but try to fix that. Yeah. All right. Well, we got at least we know it runs. I think it ran out of gas. Yeah, it ran out of gas. the gas tank um, fixed. It was leaking from right there. You guys can see. It was leaking from right there. And then we bypassed the pet cop. We cut the two lines right here and then put a pen cap in here and uh, used the hair dryer to melt the lines together and put it on the pen cap. So that worked out pretty well. Now we just need to clean out the carb because it's, obviously it's not running right and uh, cleaning up the carbs should fix it and then we'll put everything back together should be good to go so quick carb clean and uh, we'll be good to go it is like so so cold right now all right we got the, the throttle to work and everything sounds a lot better now Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Let's 
listen to a purr like a little kitten. A little kitten dog. I'm so cold. I know, me too. <laughs> we gotta put the whole bike back together now. Let's see here. Does it sound like that bass? Kind of bass. Remember, we just put new oil in it too. Yeah. Is it choke on? Choke it for a little bit. Alright, take her for the first ride. Don't lay it down, boy. See if the headlight works. Check that thing. Fried. It's probably not even hooked up. Go. It's all three down. Something's leaking too, by the way. Turn the choke off. Okay, yeah, that's good. What's leaking? Something was, but I guess not anymore. It's all down? Yep, three down. Oh man. Looks like it needs that baffle taken out. <laughs> needs to get warmed up here. I think we need to clean out the air, the air box. It's gotta get warmed up a bit. Yeah. Take it on the road maybe instead. <laughs> Thing's pretty cool. We're gonna try to get the corn out of the pipe. See if any corn comes out. <laughs> oh man, that's is that oil? Ew. Oh, that's not good. There must be a seal broken. Here, do it in the snow over here. That's gross. I wonder if there's just a ton of oil packed in the pipe. It seemed like it when they're. Oof. That looks like the good oil though, doesn't it? The stuff we put in? Yeah. Do you wanna just pound it up and down again? See if any corn comes out? Corn in there. Corn. <laughs> Should we just let it run like a long time? Or well, let's maybe the plug. Let's try changing the plug. Because it did have that weird spark on the top of it, remember? We'll change the plug, see if it's not burning out the oil or something weird. Alright, All right, we're gonna try this again. We took off the side cover for the carb to get more air to it. So hopefully it runs now. Fryer. A little bit better. Still seems like it's clearing out, but I mean it is only a 50cc and Charlie's fat, so. It's a little bit weak. A little bit better.
still smoking pretty good. I don't know what's going on with that. Pretty cool. Good All right guys, so that concludes this video. Um, it runs okay. I was going probably like 20, maybe like 17 miles per hour in third gear. So it's it definitely- It says we're going 50 though, so. Yeah, it says we're going 50, we're going 17. But um, yeah, definitely something is not quite right with it. I think we just need to tune it up. Um, get it running right, um, maybe clean out the carb again or something. Um, but I think the, the pipe might be plugged up with a little bit of oil. So we're going to take off the pipe, clean that out, and uh, do a couple more things just to see if we can get it running right. Um, obviously the increase in air really did help, help it a lot. So I think it's, we just need to clean out the air box a little bit, clean out the, uh, the carb, clean out the pipe, just make sure everything's good and should be good to go. It's pretty fun riding it. The handlebars are kind of crooked on it, but it's so weird. it is very weird. It's kind of like comfortable though. It's like, it doesn't feel like a small bike really when you're riding it. Yeah. It's not too bad. But anyway, thanks for watching guys. Thanks for subscribing. Go follow Chuck out. Have you been getting like followers from this at all or no? Mm. Do you ever get Instagram followers? Well, I do, but like not really. Oh, well guys go to his go page. Go get him to like 5,000. Go get him to 5,000. Yeah. Wouldn't that be nice? <laughs> My Instagram is pretty cool, I don't know why. So, yours is what? Some pretty sexy pics on there. Uh, Chuck that Weber 14. And what happens if you get a follow? Do you follow back or no? No, but like, if, you're, if your page is cool. Do you give prizes away or what? What's the benefit of following you? There's gotta be something. You do you post cool it. stories or what? Yeah. Sometimes. You um, get the inside life of Chuck Weber. Yeah. You can follow me on Snapchat. You can Snapchat me if you want. It's in the bio of my Instagram. Oh, so that means you have to follow your Instagram. No, you don't have to, but you should. All right. And mine, too, if you want. No. <laughs> I've got 4,444 followers, I think. So. Oh, that's nice. 4444. Four, four, four. Nice. <laughs> All right, uh, mine's two underscore vintage underscore. If you guys were wondering, super cool pics up there. No, but I post like I posted this um, story of me picking up the bike that I don't even put on YouTube. And obviously, throughout the day, I Instagram stuff pretty pretty uh, frequently. Just do stories throughout the day. So if you want like a continu continuation of the YouTube video, go follow the Instagram. That is. Uh, why you should do that. But anyway, thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. Until next time, we are out.